education for your children. Thank you. Hello, I am Jane Ryan and I am running for the Massapequa School Board election. I am a parent of a fourth grader in the elementary schools. I am also a certified public accountant and president of my own company, J.E. Ryan and Associates. Our firm specializes in working with both public and private schools in financing and reimbursement and budgeting, internal controls, and working with legislators to secure additional funding for schools. From day one of my son entering in, into the school system, I've worked very hard diligently with the PTA. I have been PTA Council Chairperson for Budget. I am currently PTA Council Chairperson for Health, Safety, and Wellness, as well as serving on a volunteer basis on the District's Budget and Finance Committee, as well as a SAFE Committee. I am running for the parents, the taxpayers, and the businesses in the community. I have not sought any endorsement from any special interest group. I am running for you. In talking to people, several themes come to mind that are very important. Lowering our taxes. The next few years are going to be critical years for Massapequa and all the schools. There are going to be many decisions that are going to have to be made which are difficult, that are going to stem from Albany which we may not like, but we have to think outside the box, such as consolidations and property tax caps. We need somebody that has that experience to work with legislators and to work with the community effectively. We must lower our budget. We must lower our tax levy. I am that person. I am a proven leader and have that experience to do that for you. The next issue which I am very passionate about is security, safety in our schools. I feel very passionate that we have to secure our schools and work for violence prevention programs and bully prevention programs in all of our schools. The most important thing to me at the end of the day is that my son comes home safe and sound and I will work very hard and tirelessly for you in order for your child to come home safe to you also. If you elect me, I promise you I will be honest, I will be forthcoming, and I will work very hard to make our to keep our schools secure, to keep our budgets balanced in order that we can continue the education programs, the arts programs, the music programs, the enrichment programs that Massapequa is known for. With your vote and support, I can do that. Thank you very much. Hi, my name is Gary Slavin. Uh, thank you for looking at MassapequaNews.com. I'm here today to explain to you why I'm running for the school board and asking for your vote. Uh, I've been a lifelong resident of Massapequa. I've been involved with many community activities, such as the Field of Dreams. The reason I'm running for the school board, because in the past, there were basically two positions. One was we needed to give our children a quality, well-rounded education. The other one was cut the budget. I can't afford to live here anymore. My research shows that there's a third option. The third option is to lobby Albany and Washington to get more aid to reduce the cost of our education. It works. In March, I met with state officials and I gave them a 10-page informational packet about the cost of educating a child in Massapequa. It's 77 percent more. The utility cost on, on LIPR is the most expensive in the nation. It worked. Massapequa got over a 10 percent increase in their state aid over last year. 2.4 million dollars. The other solutions are basically to look to Massapequa uh, Park, the village, and also the town to find out what they're doing and if we can merge any services so we can achieve some savings. Thirdly, uh, we need to create additional revenue, which if we put solar panels on the roof of all the schools, we will generate electricity, sell it back to LIPR, and have a third uh, revenue source. The election is May 20th. I'd like you to get out the vote. I'd like you to vote for me. My name is Gary Slavin. Thank you. Hi. <coughs> Excuse me. Hi. My name is Rich Krebs. I am a member of the Massapequa School Board presently. I have served three terms on the Massapequa School Board. I've lived in Massapequa now for 27 years and I've been involved in the district for over 18 years. I'm an 18-year member of PTA and have been awarded the um, honorary life by junior senior PTA. 
the New York State Distinguished Service Award by PTA Council, and this year I won the 2008 Scope Award for an Outstanding Board Member. Um, Massapequa, over the last six years that I've been on the board, have made great improvements in our education. We currently offer almost 40 college courses for our high school students. The middle school, we've introduced a robotics course, a tech prep course, and <clears throat> excuse me, and honors by achievement have all been started. Our elementary programs, we've grown and we've differentiated our reading programs. We've offered great opportunities for the students in our district. And we've done the, all of this paying less than $3,000 $3, less per student than the average district in Nassau County. I think if people look at the real numbers out there, they will see how fiscally responsible we are. We our spending is fourth lowest in Nassau County. Our administrative costs are lower than, are also fourth lowest in the county. And our ratio between students and administrators is 68% higher than the average district in Nassau County. Um, as a, the problem this year and one of our biggest barriers has been uh, increase in spending for special education our transportation, and the cost of fuel oil. Those three areas alone uh, account for more than 50% of the increase in this year's budget. I think when I am reelected, I will continue to work with the board and our local politicians to fight for more state aid and to help us uh, continue our excellent educational programs in a fiscally conservative manner. Thank you and I would please remember to vote. My name is Christine Lupitan Perino and I have been a resident of Massapequa for 21 years with my husband. I am co-president of the Young People's Cultural Arts Workshop, which I have been involved with for the past 14 years and am active in our PTAs and district committees. I have had the honor of representing your interests on the Board of Education for the past six years. I decided to run for, re for election back in 2002 after seeing the beginnings of great progress being made on behalf of our children. Although this district had enjoyed a wonderful reputation for decades, the truth of the matter was that with the new state standards, our children did not have the strong academic program or necessary support to be competitive in the new millennium. My three children all attend our district schools, which have given me a parent's perspective on all ongoing educational programs and the needs of our students. This perspective, coupled with my long-term business experience in marketing and sales, have assisted me in being an effective board member. Our students have been excelling in all areas, bringing our community great pride and providing them a strong foundation for all their future endeavors. Our biggest challenge will be to maintain our district's level of excellence while keeping our budget affordable to all. I have been working towards this goal with our County Executive Tom Swazi's Committee for Property Tax Reform. Many reports with recommendations that are to include legislative reforms are forthcoming and are aimed at providing tax relief. I ask for your support on May 20th so that I can continue to work for your benefit and at the same time can keep the focus where it belongs, on children and education. Thank you for this opportunity to introduce myself and remember to vote Perino on May 20th.